places to live in Nairobi? I often get this question. Most of these places are actually the rich neighborhoods. I decided to confirm what I already know on Google and I shall be taking you to one of these places. Hey good people, in today's episode I'm going to be showing you around one of the richest neighborhoods in Nairobi. Some people call this where old money resides in Nairobi as most of these developments were done in the 70s or 80s. Buckle up as we drive through this rich neighborhood. <music> We are in a place called Runda. There is two theories on how this place got its name. The first is, the name Runda was borrowed from the name of the coffee estate that existed in the area before it became a residential area. The coffee estate was owned by Runda Estates Limited. The second one is, it is an abbreviation for Reserved United Nations Development Area, Runda. Which one do you think is correct? That is very noticeable and i love about this area is how green and clean it is you'll notice that you can even barely see the houses literally this is what maybe people would call where the rich people hide because there's a lot of trees that are planted on the edges so you'll be lucky to spot a couple of houses here and there depending on the design on, on how high the houses are <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
majority of the residents of this area are high income earners top business owners and most people also who are working for top ngos because around this area there's a lot of embassies the united nations offices in nairobi are found around this area so you'll find a lot of diplomats around this area as well Oftentimes, you will barely see people walking in these neighborhoods. However, you can spot one or two walking their dogs or maybe walking out. Also, there is no public transport like matatus are not allowed in these neighborhoods. The only other way or the easiest way you can be able to access these neighborhoods is maybe self-drive. Or maybe you can get a cab like Uber. That is the only way you are able to get to these areas. As you can see, this is one of the embassies located in this area. There's a lot of embassies in this area, more than half the total number of embassies located in Kenya, as well as residences of the High Commissioner for different countries. was developed in 1972 due to demand when United Nations Environment Program headquarters was built in Gigiri in early 1970s. The first phase of the estate, that is Old Runda, was completed between 1972 and 1980. <music>
Runda is also considered one of the safest places that you can live in Nairobi. There is a lot of security services here as well as limited access to the areas. quite pricey sometimes people say owning a house in new york is cheaper than owning a house in nairobi so it's quite almost impossible for you to get a house here in runda especially old runda that would cost less than one million us dollars most houses here are big palatial houses that you can see from the earlier videos of drone shots you can see that they are like really big with spacious compounds so property here is quite pricey very expensive <laughs> Of the reasons that makes Runda an expensive place to live is the close proximity to the city center, the presence of high security. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of embassies here. The United States Embassy is located here. The United Nations Office headquarters in Nairobi is actually located around this area as well. So a lot of their workers, the diplomats and expatriates live in this area.
if you have watched this episode this far let me know what you think about this area would you love to stay in such an area let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below <music>
for watching this episode i hope you truly enjoyed it let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below make sure you hit the like button share and subscribe as we always say sharing is caring go ahead and share this episode right now and until next time bye bye Kwaheri. <laughs> Yeah.